Man, I don't know about you guys, but I get so excited for the future of cloud gaming and today's news video is bringing good news all around all across different services as every service just continues to ramp up their game as much as they can. Today we're going to talk about the newest Cyberpunk patch 1.11, a new game that gets rated for Stadia as well as the Stadia beta and an expansion that is seeing an early release on Stadia before other platforms and of course a Stadia sale. Luna also gets a massive new game featuring crossplay that I want to talk about as well well as more access to more Android devices. And last but not least, GeForce now gets some excellent games as well as opening up to Chrome browsers. All that in this news video, so make sure you guys subscribe, like, hit that notification bell for daily videos, and join the fastest growing cloud gaming community in all of YouTube. Also, check those timestamps for the news that you guys want to hear. So let's go ahead and quickly start with patch 1.11 for Cyberpunk 2077. It's a small one that addresses item randomization being restored to the previous state and a save a load loot exploit that people were using on a quest. Both of these little fixes are live for both Stadia and PC, but I do hope we continue to see a lot more than this as this game still needs a lot of love. Like always though, I'll keep you guys updated on any future Cyberpunk patch news. All right, with that, we have some quick Stadia news that we're going to get to. A new game has been raided by Peggy and Killer Queen Black. It's an interesting game with this four versus four with eight players online total, or you can actually do local co-op, I think. You can also play solo with bots. It's a very unique title. It has some form of old school joust kind of combat from way back in the day, and it features apparently cross-platform gameplay, which is really interesting. Hopefully that will include Stadia, the uh, Stadia version. Either way, like always, I'll let you guys know when there is a release date on this one and it's cool to see another uh, online feature focused game especially if it is going to introduce cross play with other platforms so there's going to be beta testing for the upcoming hello engineer game that's coming out for stadia and anyone can actually sign up for this you'll get a chance to play this early on stadia and test it out before the release to the public the only bad thing to me is that this indicates the game still needs a little bit of love before it's the inevitable release for this exclusive stadia release but either way i'm very much looking forward to this game personally so i can show it off to my little brother who is a big fan of the series i am going to have some links down below so go ahead click that link if you guys are wanting to sign up and you're wanting to join this beta. So Stadia is going to see the release of the new Elder Scrolls online expansion called Blackwood featuring a new zone over 30 hours of new story content but the kicker here is that Stadia gets a one week early access along PC players before the console players do. This expansion is set to launch June 1st for Stadia and one week later for Xbox and PlayStation. Not sure if I'm going to have coverage of this expansion but let me know down below if you'd be interested in seeing that on Stadia. Either way this is available for pre-order so pick this one up if you're interested and last but not least for Stadia news, the Stadia Premier Editions are currently on sale on the Google Store at 25% off. If you're interested, check out the store though, and I'm not sure if this is US only or if there's other parts of the world that have this sale as well, but either way, let me know down below. So some big news for Amazon Luna and a service that people were questioning if there was even multiplayer games on the platform itself or any sort of online presence. Well, Rainbow Six Siege, if you have Ubisoft Plus, is now available and it comes with crossplay with PC players. I've been highly impressed. I've gotten access myself barely this week to Luna and it works really smooth. I've been playing with keyboard and mouse and I've had no issues. I felt no latency or any problems at all with Rainbow Six Siege specifically not so much some other games but overall I've had a good experience with Rainbow Six Siege the game even comes with sliders to increase the graphics which is really neat I won't have coverage on this on the channel individually so this will be as close as you guys get to see it but if you do have Luna and you have Ubisoft Plus or you were thinking about getting it I can tell you that it's really a solid time with that more Luna invites have also gone out if you live in the US make sure you guys are checking your uh, inboxes as well as your junk mail they seem to have opened up the floodgates a little bit more though I think some people still have not gotten an invite and they've also opened up more access to more Android devices so it really looks like Luna is finally making a big push at the moment of course no word yet on other countries but when that does happen I will definitely keep you guys up to date and have full coverage of all of that so stay tuned 
GeForce Now has had a pretty big week for them, all things considering, and a slew of decent games have released, but not only that, they've also opened up access to playing the service via your Chrome browser on Windows and PCs. Before you had to download an app, and now simply you just go to play.geforcenow.com, and I've gotten to test this and it does indeed work. Previously, access was only open for Chromebooks, but now on your PC you should be able to game a lot more easily. There's also support for M1 Max as well. GeForce Now also released a decent amount of games games headlined by The Medium, a horror-like atmospheric adventure where you're using your psychic abilities to uncover the mysteries and solve puzzles. The game has been very, very well received and it also has ray tracing with GeForce Now and it comes in at 45 bucks. The other game worth highlighting here is Dyson Spear Program. It's an automation space simulator. The game is getting a ton of fanfare right now. It just launched and it already has close to 9,000 very positive reviews. So this one is worth checking out and it's only 20 bucks if you're into these types of games. The rest of the list here is an Immortals Phoenix Rising demo from Ubisoft, a game called Beholder, Caves of Cud, Kathy Rain, Neon Abyss, and Gods Will Fall, a game that just recently released is also on GeForce Now. All in all, a pretty dang notable week for GeForce Now, and kudos to the release of all these excellent games, as well as the release of Chrome Browser Access. Good stuff for GeForce Now. With that, let me know your thoughts today on Stadia News, Luna getting Rainbow Six Siege, and GeForce Now releasing on Chrome browsers and the games that they got. Subscribe by hitting that red button, like, share, and hit that notification bell. I'm Sunny, and I'll see you guys in the cloud.